nice ah. spacious back patio here. And a great in? day. I'll, I'll tell, tell you. you, it is beautiful. Well, welcome to Fix It Quick. He's Randy Frostick. And he's Lenny Daniel. Tell you, and today we've got this great project here. We got this spacious back patio, but in the summer it's hot, in the winter it's cold, and we're just going to go ahead and let's build a sunroom. Let's do it. Uh, sunrooms are great. They look great. They add warmth in the winter time. They're hot as heck in the summertime, but that's uh, that's another show. That is another show. We'll work on that in the summer. It's winter time, so why don't we go ahead and just lay out the diagram and well, let's just get to it. Let's do it. Okay. We began by scoping out the situation. Then we scoped out some more. Then we reviewed our options. We came to a disturbing conclusion. This would be a much more difficult project than we thought. And we had very little knowledge of sunroom construction, but we gave it the old college try. We took measurements of the height and width of our base support. It's optimal to have a tape measure, but we didn't have one, so a ruler or yardstick will also work. Always use proper ladder safety. Have a buddy stabilize the ladder and never stand on the top rung. Then we got our materials together. Upon review, we realized a major flaw in our pre-planning procedures. We underbought supplies by a long shot, and we weren't about to waste time running out to a store to buy more materials. So how do we handle these shortcomings and finish the project? We'll be back to show you when Fix It Quick returns. Well, the sunroom idea was a bad one. It was uh, way too time consuming and uh, a little bit too involved, but stick around. We do have a better idea, don't we, Lenny? That's right. Storm doors. Storm doors are an excellent option because mm -hmm. they provide insulation as well as protection from the elements, which is what the homeowner wanted in the first place. So we should have just started with the storm. Yeah, door. you're right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just install this, put it up in a jiffy. Let's do it. Okay. We first fitted the storm doors, and fortunately, estimating paid off big time here, and we had the right size door. Bonus! We did run into a problem, however. The frame was way too long, and you needed a hacksaw to cut it, something that was not mentioned when purchasing this product. Also, when we opened the box, hundreds of little parts were in there. There's no way! There is no way. It's like a hundred screws in here. This, this is unbelievable. This would take all day. Well, we had our work cut out for us, but we had to get this homeowner some insulation, so we began cutting. Since we didn't have a hacksaw, we tried cutting through with a normal wood saw. Didn't have much success there, so we moved to an X-Acto knife. Tell you what, why don't we take a break now? We'll continue with the cutting and check back on us in just a minute, see what kind of progress we've made. Welcome back to Fix It Quick. Uh, well, we decided against the storm door. It just wasn't too feasible, was it, Lenny? No, that's a higher out project for sure. Tell you what, though, we did put our heads together. We came up with an innovative way to get this homeowner some insulation and storm protection. So let's get busy. Let's do it. We took measurements around the door. Then we began prepping our material. Plastic wrap is a very durable and weather resistant material, perfect for our needs. We cut off the desired lengths and we began mounting it to the door frame. We found that duct tape was an excellent bonding source. It sticks to anything and it matches the gray siding on the house. It was just perfect. Be sure not to leave any gaps for cold air or water to enter. Upon completing the door insulation, we took a piece of foam core and got creative. Foam core can be purchased at any art supply store and is very light. We mounted the foam core above the doorway at a 90 degree angle, providing a nice inexpensive awning. We again used duct tape to mount the awning to the door frame. Well, this really came out great, didn't it? It really did. I think the homeowner is really going to be surprised. I, I wish I was here when they came home. This is really something. I was too. They won't answer the door right now for some reason, but they're probably busy. And uh, it's great because you got instant insulation for the mm -hmm. winter time, shade for the summertime with our new creative awning. Two in one. Yeah. What do you say we recap? Okay. We started off by contemplating making a sunroom. We reviewed the situation and just noticed that it really didn't look feasible for our talents and our resources, so we moved on to... We moved on to the storm door. 
But we found out the storm door, uh, it really just had too many parts. Um, we just didn't want to deal with it. And basically, honestly, we didn't really know how to deal with it. So we moved on to the plastic and the awning. It's exactly what the homeowners asked for. They wanted insulation and they wanted shade and they got both. We gave it to them. In one handy project. This is a do-it-yourself project. It only took us about Oh, eight minutes, 50 seconds. And how much did it cost? It took uh, $12. 12 bucks. Yeah. But you can spend more or, or less. less. Depending on the plastic and the style of foam core you go with. Mm -hmm. Now stay with us. We have a quick tip for you. We're going to go inside and... Um, uh, oh. Yeah. We're going to go Scissors. inside and work on the quick tip for you. Join us in a minute. I you think can we... Cut right there. We, yeah, we didn't really think about this, did we? As you can see in our before shots, there's no insulation and no shade around this door. But looking at the after shots, you can see the nice insulation and this perfect shade that this homeowner will enjoy. Fix It Quick is sponsored by Nashua Duct Tape. When you want a quick fix and you don't have time for hammers and nails, turn to Nashua Duct Tape and fix it quick. Available at all stores where fine products are sold. <laughs> uh, welcome back to, uh, to Fix It Quick. Uh, you can hear the kids in the background, which is a perfect segue to what we're going to build on this project is a child's playhouse. That is perfect. The poor little kids are over there having to play on a swing set because mm -hmm. they don't have a playhouse. Terrible. And that's what we want to supply to them as a playhouse. And playhouses have gained popularity greatly since the mid-80s. The fall of communism led to children having more freedom in all countries. And as you can see, they're just frolicking around and having a great time. So if we get this playhouse up, they're going to have even a better time. I'll tell you what, Lenny, let's, let's do it. Let's show them how to do it. Let's go. We began by laying out our dimensions and estimating a frame size. Again, a ruler works fine for measuring, as long as you can remember how many times it fits down the wood. Then we started construction. We began by putting our wood frame together. Tell you what, let's take a break. We'll be back in just a few minutes to show you how to wrap this project up. The hologram dinosaur ruler is the official measuring stick of Fix It Quick. Um, well, we kind of jumped forward a little bit. We progressed a good bit. And let us just uh, recap how they, um, well, how Randy and I constructed the playhouse. Uh, we started off by constructing the base. You saw us starting the frame. We finished it quickly. And then we went ahead and created the siding, such as this. Then we moved on to the roof. Now, you need a roof because that protects you from the elements, be it rain or pine cones or whatever, and then we put the shingles on, one at a time. Pretty impressive. Exactly. And then we just uh, painted it, put a coat of paint on with, of course, paint and a paintbrush. Now, you can use a paint sprayer if you want to do that, but we wanted to go with the personal touch because, who knows, I might have to spend the night out here sometime if I ever get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, that's all the time we have on Fix It Quick. Now, join us next week on Fix It Quick when... We intend to construct a two-car garage, and if time allows, add a second story onto a ranch home. Man, that should really be great. That'll be special. So join us then. I'm Lenny Daniel. And I'm Randy Frostig. We'll see you next week. I'm Fix It Quick. Man, they really, I mean, we really did a good job. It is job. something, isn't it? I'll tell you what. It's really impressive. I love the way that it slopes down. And that's